with studying tools getting better and better and with players getting ever more sophisticated, you might be wondering, is live poker still profitable in 2024? In this video, I will not only show you that the answer is a big fat yes, I will also explain why it is more profitable than ever before, why you don't even have to be a genius to make money with live poker and why it will get even more profitable in the future. Also, I will reveal my personal results as a professional live low-stakes poker player to prove my point. There was a period where live poker seemed to be going downhill. In about 2018, players became better and visitor numbers to card rooms stagnated. And then COVID hit. You probably remember that fun time of wearing masks and only being allowed to talk to your grandma in the garden. For live poker, the COVID-19 pandemic was the best thing that happened since Chris Moneymaker won the WSOP main event in 2004. Players and novices had so much spare time and weren't allowed to leave their house. Many of them started learning the poker rules and dabbled in online games. They soon found that the online games were very tough to beat. So when the lockdowns were lifted, they had this thirst to be in a social environment and they wanted to play poker. People wanted to get back into sitting across the table and recognizing play with an actual person and the real cliche of poker, getting reads and poker faces. I, I think there's, a, there's an element of playing poker in a live environment that you just can't gain anywhere else. I think there was a thirst for it. Says Kerry Jane Craigie, director of poker at the Hippodrome Casino in London. In many countries, poker rooms have had their highest turnover in the years since the pandemic. Waiting lists for cash games on a Friday night are often longer than your receipt for the weekly shop at your local Walmart. It is not uncommon for some poker rooms to turn over between 5 and 10 million dollars per year just with cash games. And if we talk about tournaments, they seem to be on even another level. Take the main event of the World Series of Poker in Las Vegas, for example. 10,043 participants tried to win the most prestigious bracelet in the world in 2023, a new record. Pros as well as recreationals don't seem to mind forking out $10,000 for the buy-in. And yep, that's me taking my chances in the WSOP main event. I'm in cash, by the way. When the competition took place for the first time in 1971, there were six participants. Everybody made the final table. Participant numbers at tournaments in 2024 are exploding worldwide. The European Poker Tour keeps breaking records. So did the Goliath, the world's biggest tournament outside of Vegas, which is played in England every summer. And even your local $100 buy-in tournaments are as popular as never before. So I have shown that poker is booming, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it is profitable. That's why I asked several professional poker players what their experience was. And everybody said exactly the same things. The games have never been better. Every pro I have spoken to says that they are making more money than ever before. You see, all those players who took up poker during COVID are still around and most of them are not winning players. In fact, Brazilian poker pro Saulo Costa recently published a study about how much recreational players actually lose. It was mind-blowing. Last year, the typical recreational online player lost 49 big blinds per 100 hands. At a 1-3, this would be almost $150 per 100 hands or $50 an hour. That's the average recreational player not even the worst. And yes, these stats were taken from online poker. But in live poker, there are a lot more recreational players around and a lot fewer ranks. The ratio is extremely favorable for the sophisticated players. Here are my own results at live poker over the past 12 months. You can see how profitable my year was despite having had a terrible start to this year. And before I show you why live poker is on course to become even more profitable, I just wanted to prove my point that live poker in 2024 really is worth it. Here's a hand example that I witnessed in London not too long ago. I folded early in the hand, but six players saw a flop of ace, 10, three with two spades. The preflop raises C bets, a reg in the big blind calls. The turn brings in the flush. The whale bets small this time and gets called again. 
The ace of spade brings in a four flush and pairs the board. So the whale now bets a ridiculous five pounds and folds to a raise. He shows ace 10 face up. He had the nut, but he didn't realize that he had a full house. So the rag, who had a lower full house, won the hand instead of getting stacked. And here's another one where I was involved myself. There was a maniac at my table. He raised every single hand and then often double and triple barrel post flop. So when he raised, I called with queen 10 suited on the button and everyone else who could got involved too. Flop came ace king 10, the maniac predictably C bet. I called with bottom pair and a gut shot. On the seventh turn, he bet again. I called one more time. And the river was a jack. We now have the nuts. And our friend puts in a healthy overbet. Life at the tables doesn't get any better, I thought. Oh wait, actually it does. Because we jam and he starts tanking. After a while, he lets go of his hand after saying, I have a queen, but my deuce kicker is probably not good enough. This guy folded the nuts in a 2000 pound pot because he thought that his kicker played when he had a straight. So what does that mean for you? It means that you too can have a piece of this delicious fish pie. These sorts of hands happen every day anywhere in the world. You just have to be there. The mistakes might not be so ridiculous, but they are there. Of course, some table selection is necessary and you have to not make the same kind of mistakes, obviously. But if recreational players are throwing away money, then this is a golden opportunity for studied players. And by studied, I don't even mean that you have to memorize GTO frequencies of what to do on the river if you face a 38% pot sized bet. Playing a tight aggressive style, not paying off nits and value betting your good hand should take you a long way in live poker in 2024. Such a simple strategy won't make you a millionaire, but you should be on the right side of the line over a large sample size. And as I said, there is actually more good news. I think that live poker will become even better in the next few years. Here's why. According to the newest report, Texas Hold'em by Jitnax, the independent market research statistics and business insights company, Company, there are 100 million poker players worldwide. Almost 60% of them are under the age of 35. Most of these players will still be around in a few years time and their disposable income should increase with age. Jitnak says that the poker industry as a whole is worth around $14 billion. Half of that is accounted for by online poker. But I don't think that online poker is actually in a great state. The existence of real-time assistance tools that play perfect GTO poker and alleged collusions are alienating more and more recreational players. Zoom and fast forward games have not been beneficial for online poker either. Recreational players lose their money faster and faster. Solo Costa's research concluded that in 2022, recreational online players lost 39 big blinds per 100 hands. One year later, they already lost 49 big blinds per 100 hands. That's an increase of 25% in just one year. It seems understandable that many recreational players don't want to continue playing online. And what do they do? Sure, some of them will quit playing altogether, but many of them will go to play in their local casinos. And even older men will give more action on average. The old man coffee stereotype of players that sit there all afternoon and wait for aces will slowly be replaced by older men who are willing to put money in the middle. And then there's another area for growth, women. 30% of poker players in the world are female, according to Jitnax. But only about 5% of live players are female, if even. And there are movements around the globe that promote women's poker. The Hippodrome Casino in London, for example, has a ladies club. So we run it on a monthly basis. It's open to all. Uh, we have a chat. We play a little sit and go. And we tend to play a sit and go with minimal spend to get like a satellite into the next tournament that we're doing. Says Carrie Jane Craigie from the Hippodrome. Women's events at poker festivals are more and more popular. And Times Magazine featured a story about billionaire Jenny Just, who says that the secret to women's wealth is poker. 
and London-based author and poker player Alex O'Brien recently published a documentary on the BBC World Service radio called The Poker Parent, in which she talks about teaching her eight-year-old daughter Ava how to play poker. While radio might not be the medium that can increase poker interest in the world, constant live streaming of poker tournaments and cash games like Hustler Casino Live and the WSOP <laughs> should help to hype up poker worldwide. It is hard to imagine that the participant numbers in the big tournaments like the WSOP, WPT, EPT and so on will be drastically reduced even in the event of a worldwide recession. If we look at football World Cups or the Olympics, they too have become bigger from decade to decade through TV and internet coverage. And poker already comprises 70% of all casino games played. So it's looking really good for live poker in the years to come. If you want to learn about a simple concept that increases your win rate, then click on the video here.